In this video, I will tell you why you have learned the Arabic language, yet you don't understand the scholarly works, the books of the scholars of the ulama, Ibn al-Qayyim, Sheikh al-Islam, etc, etc, amongst the Salaf and amongst many of the scholarly books. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa brother Muhammad al Andalusi, founder of AndalusiInstitute.com. The other day, I posted on my Instagram, which by the way, follow me around here. I posted, ask me a question, little poll, and somebody said, please advise, I learned the book of the Medina books and studied this, studied that, but still can't understand Ibn al-Qayyim's books. And I didn't respond. I didn't have time. So if the brother or sister is watching this, I apologize in advance or actually not in advance. I, <laughs> I apologize late. But yeah, I thought that it, because of the importance of the subject, I would just make a YouTube video about it. Now, this is very simple to understand. What happens is that if you are not educated in a particular field, if you you read about that field, even if you are fluent in the language of that particular field or the thing that you are reading about, you still won't understand or the subject you are reading. So it happens the same to students who learn the Arabic language or go over the Medina books or La Rabia Benedic, whatever it might be. And as a side note, I want to remind you that going over the Medina books, going over La Rabia Benedic, it doesn't mean you have to learn the Arabic language. It is a good, very solid start, depending on how the teacher is teaching you as well. But you shouldn't consider that as my Arabic studies are done here. I can jump into the next thing. What I'm trying to say with this is that even though it's a good foundation, it doesn't make sense that you then go to, for example, a book of Ibn al-Qayyim in a particular field, whether it's fiqh, whether it's usul al-fiqh, whatever field that you haven't studied, the small mutun, the small foundational books that the ulama had written for the students to, you know, slowly and gradually get educated educated in that particular field first, if you haven't go over those books, then you definitely won't understand those particular subjects. And you see these many times in like debates in between a Muslim and a non-Muslim and the non-Muslim is trying to attack Islam or like he's just confused and you can see it from the matters that he is concerned about. Like for example, they might read in the Quran and we have descended the Quran and they might say, you see this muta'arid, this contradictory to what Allah says in Qurhu Allah had I am the only one how can he say we then that means that you know you're giving credit to the trinity of the Christians no 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 no. calm down you first need to understand that in the Arabic language inna and referring to yourself as a group there are two types of plurals there is the, the plural of numbers and the plural of respect such as many different other languages like French you say como tele vous even though you're speaking to one person, but vu refers to you as in group of people. So what I'm trying to say is that you will want to understand one subject or you will think that you understand one subject, but there is all of these other little fields and all of these other little points that you need to understand in order for you to understand this main point. The same happens when you finish learning the Arabic language, you go over the Medina books, you go over the Arabic ibn Aidek, and then boom, you want to go ahead and jump into Ibn Joseph's works or Ibn they will talk about it's not that you don't know Arabic it's not you're not strong in Arabic it's that you are not educated in that field yet you are not educated enough in that field so you don't understand and it might be as well that your Arabic is weak it might be that as well but many times it happens that you not only you are weak in the Arabic language but at the same time you are not strong and you are not educated in that particular field you are reading about and to conclude this video I will give you guys an example as you can see on screen right now this text says abstract the size grain hypothesis predicts that environmental rugosity results in positive allometric scaling of leg length on body length because of changes in locomotion cost. The scaling of leg length and body length in ants was re-examined using phylogenetic independent contrast method. You guys get the point. We are reading something that we don't know is in English and most of you guys who are watching this are fluent and your native language is the English language. But we are reading this and we are not 
educated in the subject of this particular text. Therefore, we don't understand what the text is talking about just because it's not the language barrier here, but it's the subject barrier. We are not educated in the particular subject, if that makes sense. So don't get frustrated if you don't understand the works, the scholarly works yet. Rather, start by the little books to instruct yourself and to educate yourself in the deen of Islam. Everything needs to be gradual. Start with the small books. And if you are wondering right now, where are the small books? Just look online very simply. Look for, for example, the advice of Sheikh Al-Thaymin about this particular field. What books to learn in this particular field to understand? What are the books to learn to understand about Usul al-Fiqh? What are the books to learn to understand about Mustalah al-Hadith? What are the books to learn to understand about Surah Tafsir, etc., etc., with all the different fields of Islamic sciences? And that will give you an understanding of the scholarly works later on. Woman Ramal Aima Jumlatan, the Habaan Hujumlatan, and whoever tries to acquire the knowledge all at once, it would definitely leave him all at once. Sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad wa alayhi wa sahbi ajma'in. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Assalamu alaikum.